So, hello everybody, and welcome back to another merchandise video. So, I haven't done one of these in a while, and in fact, I haven't really uploaded in a while, and I do apologise for that, guys. I've been very busy with college and stuff, and, um, you know, setting up for uni as well, because that's coming up soon for me. Um, but nonetheless, let's just get into this merchandise video with the first item that I got for my birthday, funnily enough, because it was my birthday um, a week ago from when I'm recording this. Um... So yes, let's start with the first item, uh, which was uh, this set of red headphones, these Panasonic headphones. I usually go for the same brand because they usually last me a good two or three months before they break. Um, and plus they're quite cheap. So um, so my parents got me this, which is very, very nice of them. So yeah, that's nothing really else to say. They're just a pair of headphones, really. The other item I got was a comic. It is the latest Walking Dead comic, which is called The Rotten Core, um, which is um, the second part of this uh, Commonwealth story arc that's going on in the comics at the moment. So I'm very, very excited to read this once I finish Volume 30, which I'm in the middle of, which I think is called New World Order or something. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys already know, but I've been a big fan of Walking Dead for a long while. I just haven't really expressed it on this channel. Um... As of recently, well, not not until now, obviously, because, you know, season 7 and 8 have been a bit shit, to be honest, but season 9 has been fucking amazing so far. If you want, you know what, guys, um, talking about the television show, if you guys want me to review, um, like, the TV show, any of the episodes of The Walking Dead, just let me know, and I'll do so, because it's not like there's any Doctor Who this year or anything in 2019, so I may as well, you know, have other things to make videos on, really, you know, just to switch things up a bit. But yeah, anyway, I do like the look of this comic, and I'm really excited to, you know, read it. Uh, now, moving on to the DVDs, um, the first one I got um, was the Season 7 of The Walking Dead, which actually came out um, two years ago, um, and obviously it shows how much that I am a fan of Season 7, to say the least. Yeah, it's, um, it's no secret that this uh, season was a letdown on uh, The Walking Dead. Um, but, you know, it's good to have at least in my, you know, collection now, and, um, I don't see myself opening this, um, this, uh, you know, get, um, shrink wrap anytime soon, but anyway, yeah, let's move on to the next item. Okay, so, the, uh, next DVD we have is finally a Doctor Who item, but you guys have been waiting to hear something about Doctor Who, yay. So, I got Resolution. Before you ask, no, I did not get season 11. I'm not going to get series 11 of Doctor Who until it goes down in price, because I think them selling it for 40 odd quid is a, is absolutely ridiculous. For 10 episodes as well, I think it's absolutely repulsive how expensive it is. And I'm not going to pay for that season for that amount of money, I'm telling you that for free. Um, but Resolution, I absolutely loved, so I am glad to have this episode at least, because I do see myself re-watching this episode at some point. But um, I'm going to review it as well, I promise. The review of Resolution is coming out, as well as um, Season seven, season uh, 11, eventually. Maybe. At least some of the episodes I'm hoping to review at some point soon. There you go. The shrink wrap is so difficult to get off. Yeah, so I absolutely loved Resolution. I'm going to watch it a second time, and I'm going to... Once I watch it, like, two more times, I might crack on with the review. I don't know whether I'll review it with, um, like, Kane or Dylan or someone like that, but I know for sure that I'll review it eventually, with with or without a, uh, a guest reviewer. There you go, there's Resolution. I am very, very happy to have it, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure if there's any bonus features. Oh, yeah, there's Behind the Scenes, Season Series 11, Look Back, Dalek Reformed. Yeah, this looks good enough, doesn't it? But, yeah, with that said, that was, um, that was Resolution. Um, I am actually really, really happy to have it. To be honest, I'm really, really glad. So, no, moving out of the DVDs and um, into the CDs, um, I have five of them, none of which being Doctor Who. We have the Iron Maiden Power Slaved album, which I am very, very happy to have, but I'm very, very puzzled how to get this open without breaking it. So, if you can see that, this is actually the remastered version. As you can see there, it says it on there, which is very cool. But yeah, um, I'm a big fan of the Power Slave album. There's no songs in this album that I don't love. Is this like a special disc or anything in there? No, I think it's just a booklet. Which you can get out of that side, obviously. 
so yeah, the Power Slave album is notoriously known as amazing. To be honest, a lot of the Iron Maiden albums are just flawless in every way, like Fear of the Dark, uh, Number of the Beast, and Power Slave. Those three albums are just utter perfection. No songs in there are duds in there. None of them. Absolutely amazing. I love every single song in this album as well. I'm just, I'm so glad to have it. So now moving on to the second album, we have. Excuse me, I've got, I've got a cold in case you guys couldn't notice. We have Avengers Unfold's City of Evil, which I'm very happy to have, obviously. So, um, yeah, I've only got one more Avengers Unfold album to get, and then I've got them all, I think. I think it's just um, Waking the Fallen. I think I've got all the others. There we go. This is always very difficult to do on camera, but I'm doing it anyways. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so there you go, there's City of Evil. So the next one I got was Disturbed's uh, The Lost Children, which is a very, very good album. Obviously they've got the cover of Living After Midnight, they've got a cover of Midlife Crisis, and then they have Hell, Welcome Burden, and uh, Leave It Alone, God of the Mind. They're all very, very good songs in here. So yeah, there you go, there's uh, The Lost Children. Another very, very cool looking album. Oh, the cover looks brilliant actually, I've just got to point that out. Doesn't it just look epic? Anyway. So, the next one I've got is another metal album, and it is the latest one from Primal Fear called Apocalypse. Absolutely legendary album, this one. I think this is the reason why I love Primal Fear. They're like a, they're more like, like a discount, like Judas Priest, if you ask me at least. They sound a lot, they have a lot of the same sound as Judas Priest. Especially if you compare this album to like Firepower or um, Painkiller. Like those albums, like this is very, very reminiscent of Judas Priest. Anyway, yeah, I got the special edition of this album because it has a couple of the bonus songs in there that I absolutely cannot live without. Oh, I love the packaging. So good. Oh, dear. What's this? Oh, okay. So, yeah, looks very, very good. So let's have a look on the back. Oh wow, it's got the DVD of um, King of Madness, The Ritual and Making of Apocalypse. That's cool. I might have a watch of that at some point. Wow, this is a very, very cool, you know, extended edition of the album. I'm very, very happy with this. Anyway, yeah, there's um, Primal Fear's Apocalypse. Uh, let's move on to the last album, finally. <laughs> We're getting through these very slowly. I do apologise. And the last one is uh, Iron Saviour's The Landing, which is probably their best album. It's by far my favourite album of theirs. It's because it's got all of the songs in here that I love, and it's the first album that I discovered of them. The Landing's such a good album. Anybody who says different is just wrong. <laughs> there you go, there's the songs on there if you want to... Give this album a try if you're into metal, or if not, this uh this out this um band is very power metal esque. If that's any clue of if you might like it or not, but yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it for the albums. Let's move on to the last item, which is finally a second Doctor Who item. So let's do that. So the last item is a figure. It's a Doctor Who figure. I'm not Doctor Who figures too often, but it's good to get one here, near here and there, isn't it? Here, near here, near here, near here. So that is indeed, bam, the thirteenth Doctor, um, and it's the, and it's the five point five inch. It's not just it's not the three point fuck you inch. So yeah, I am kind of I am I am actually glad to have this because it I can sit here next to all my other Doctors, and I do still have every Doctor. Well. Besides John Hurt, I still need to get John Hurt's figure. That's a very good point. But apart from John Hurt, I have every Doctor, which is very, very good. Very, very graceful way of doing it, I assure you. There we go. So, let's get her out. The detail is good enough, isn't it? The likeness is kind of there. Yeah, I'd say they did a pretty good job of getting Jodie Whittis because of the like likeness. And that about does it, really. Let's, um... Uh, get the items back together and we'll round off this video. And there we go, that'll about do it for this merchandise video, guys. Here are all the items in all their glory. Oh, wait, and then um, I nearly forgot about her, and I nearly forgot about these. There you go, now it's all sorted. So, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this merchandise video, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.